Hello YouTubers, Manny here from Manny's How To Workshop with the video today hopefully uh, being able to show you how to repair a um, Michelin three and a half ton floor jack and mine is the uh, G735 model okay so my issue was this when I would use my floor jack it would uh, I would be able to, you know, I would pump it up, and when it got, you know, kind of high, I would try to, uh, you know, leave it up there real quick to go get a jack stand, and it wouldn't stay up. Like I was saying, uh, it wouldn't stay up, so uh, it'd start creeping back down. So I'm like, okay, you know, something's got to be given. And eventually, I started seeing like seepage, um, you know, coming from the little uh, piston, which is this guy right here, uh, which this, when it's you know, installed, it faces down like that. And that's where the jack handle uh, comes in is right here. And when you pump it, this goes in and out. And that's what pumps the fluid up inside of this guy, which is the actual uh, piston rod that raises the jack. So I started to see seepage here and thought, okay, I know these come with O-rings, as you can see right here. So this is the O-ring for this guy. And figuring that, okay, this is starting to go. Uh, but like I said, it was still doing okay. Well, then I started noticing that, uh, you know, it started leaking in other areas as well. Uh, so I was like, okay, at some point I'm gonna have to find a way to repair this. And sure enough, they do have a repair kit and for mine, I actually got it at Tools and Hydraulics Incorporated out of Chattanooga, Tennessee. Uh, it was $21.45 with shipping, $31.01. And here's the, uh, the part kit number right there. It's uh, the G73504-40. You know, and uh, actually says factory item number. So supposedly the, this is the kit that will repair uh, the jack okay and so as you can see this is what it came with uh, came with all these o-rings uh, some f you know f uh, flat I guess they call them sweep o-rings like this one and then a bunch of little clear uh, small ones like that and then you got the round o-rings for all the different little areas okay for example oh so it comes with these two big ones which those go on the reservoir one of which we're supposed to replace this uh round one right here this right here the round one goes right right here okay and then this guy right here goes right inside you know right there in this little channel and the other one which i have the uh reservoir right on the vise goes right down here in this channel right there and this is also the old round one okay and uh but when i looked at the one they sent me it's actually flat but it's flat uh but it has like a bevel on it uh, you can probably see it better right there on the paper against the paper see it's got a little bevel so i'm like okay is this gonna work so i'm gonna have to try and see what happens because uh with you know with these this channel right here where the o-ring goes into is uh you know is not that big and judging you know by the size of this right here it uh i don't think it's gonna you know lie flat in there uh, i'm gonna try and see off camera and then i'll let you guys know when i find out as i suspected guys uh, so i put the uh that o-ring on here to see how it's gonna fit and even though I was able to get the beveled part inside the channel, but right there, it's still sticking out a good ways. And when I try to put this over the uh, reservoir housing over it, it uh, it doesn't want to come down. Also, on the top uh, collar slash nut that gets the other o-ring i try to do the same thing but not very successful on that one 
as you can see, it leaves too much of a lip. Uh, unlike the roll, the round one, uh, the round O-ring. And when I try to put this on here, it won't even grab the first set of threads to say to even to try to suck it down. But I'm not going to take any chances and try to put it in and deform that, and then get a leak. Even though the reservoir doesn't have like pressure in it. It's just static pressure, but uh, I think I'm going to have to go and use the old ones uh, just to make sure that I'm going to be able to put this back together uh, correctly. I forgot to mention that some helpful tools to have to be able to do this repair is a pick set like this. Uh, it's got four different uh, types, tips on it, point, angled, 90, curved, uh, screwdriver, flat tip screwdriver to be able to back this guy off. It's got two slots on it right there. Um, that's what goes in here in the piston and some snap ring uh, pliers uh, for this guy right here. Okay, and then of course uh, a socket set, you know, half inch drive socket with some sockets. By the way, here's the rest of my parts that I, uh, you know, took apart when I took it apart. Uh, some springs, uh, some bolts, and uh, that's all going to go back on there. And what else? Oh, you're going to need some fresh jack oil. And the reason I say fresh is because here's what my jack oil looked like. And I don't know if you can see it in the light. Yeah, it looks doesn't look as... Okay. Look how dark that is. Hydraulic oil... You know, it's supposed to be clear. And I know after some usage it might change color a little bit, but not like this. And when I was pouring it out of the reservoir, I did see some uh, what looked like bubbles, which indicates to me that's water. So there was water infiltration in the oil as well. So that could have also led to the fact that it wasn't staying up. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and start reassembling everything with uh, with the new o-rings and uh and then go from there let's set the camera down and i'll be right back i forgot to mention guys so this was the culprit uh also right here that uh was causing my jack not to um stay up as you can see it's basically just falling apart uh, all deteriorated and this is part of the uh, seal or the sweep, the oil sweep that goes to that main piston uh, over there. Okay, so I think between the water and old oil, they just made this soft, you know, rubber uh, deteriorate and therefore uh, cause it to leak by. Okay, so I'll go ahead and uh, start showing how to put it back together. All right, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this uh, older O-ring that's round. Go ahead and just slip it over, bring it to the bottom, and just run it like that. And it's gonna create just a little. And I can see it's still sticking out some, which is good. Um, one thing I forgot to mention before also is that right here inside the reservoir, there was some surface rust. So I went out ahead and sanded it all the way around, cleaned it up real nice on both sides. Okay, to um, to make sure that this doesn't, you know, add to the uh, the, old, the fluid turning the color it did. So also when putting back, um, this fill part has to be lined up with right here, which this is the top part where it's going to be the top part of the, uh, the, uh, the what, what do you call it, the jack when it's on the floor, because it is the uh, cranking handle right here, okay. So, and this is where it also tells you do not adjust. And these are those screws that I'm not gonna mess with by changing the O-rings because that's where I guess you adjust for height and how fast it goes up and down and all that. I'm not gonna mess with it. It came from the factory like that. It's gonna stay like that. So before I put this back on there though, I'm just gonna take some of this fresh oil, put it on my finger like this, like that, and then just rub it on the o-ring just so it makes it nice and easier for that reservoir 
to go ahead and sit in place um, because this like I said it's not wet in here it's kind of dry so just to make sure that it sits nice uh, slides on there without any tears or anything like that so I'm gonna go ahead and line it up oh before I forgot I put the little screen back in there also the uh, filter screen for the oil I'm gonna go ahead and line it up and it should be like I said right about there center and then here I'll just push down a little bit more see how snug it is guys there we go and you hear it almost like snap in place so that tells you there's a good seal on there okay and for this guy here now this will I'm just gonna put these on there uh, right now and I'm gonna do the same thing uh, just gonna put a little bit of this on here just so that it goes on there you know pretty good and this here what you do is just squeeze it like this and then slide it in there right into that little channel and then just work your fingers in there hold it with one finger and then just push it in like that try and not uh, make it roll on itself and see it's already in there okay and this is what's going to sweep by the piston all right go ahead do the same thing with this guy now this guy will just roll right on there like that and then just move it around like so when it comes time to put it on that's when I'll go ahead and put a little bit of that oil right on there and remember guys like I said this is only to seal the reservoir to hold the fluid in it's not so much for uh, pressure okay so I'm gonna go ahead and bring that piston over here I'm go ahead and take this out of here for now okay grab some gloves to cushion this guy so basically I'm gonna actually I just need one glove I'm gonna wrap this like this so that the teeth of the vise doesn't nick this right here this is the smooth side and this one needs to seal up against the o-ring so I'm just gonna hold it in place because I'm not, not even squeezing it too hard I'm just holding it in place so that uh, it's easier for me to work with, you know. Okay, so the first thing that needs to go back is this metal uh, bushing right here. And so that goes back like this. You see, it goes right on there. Then this nylon washer goes on there like that and then this um, this is the uh, oil sweep for the piston and let's see it's gonna go like that yeah it has to go like th this little channel right here has to face down I believe because that's how the old one was it was facing down it wasn't where that this flat part was was what was facing you know facing like that so and you can see there's a little bevel i don't know if you guys can see that but there's like a little bevel there and this edge right here is what's going what's going to do the uh the sweeping okay so whoop, there we go let's wasn't gonna hold on one second they gave me another nylon washer to use but it looked a little thick let me see something oh okay so it actually goes in there like that. Let's 
So it actually kind of almost like snaps in there. Like that. And And then you take your snap ring pliers. Apply it like so. And then usually you just spread it, spread it out as far as you can while at the same time pushing down on it. Come on. There we go. Just like that. And then it snaps right into that little groove, that little channel it's supposed to go into. Okay. Now, this little o ring also right here, right there, goes in here. Okay. Goes right down in there like that. Take your fingers and push down on it, or just like a flat tip screwdriver, just to kind of seat it in place. And this little nylon washer also goes in there, like that, right over that. And then you go ahead and put this. Uh, little threaded insert back in there and actually use flat tip screwdriver just keep turning it until it seats like this until it's snug it doesn't have to be crazy like tight but just enough to like hold that that little uh, what do you call it the little washer in there and then the o-ring okay because that o-ring the one that's in here is gonna go over this guy right here and it's gonna seal up against that right there okay all right so now that's put together. Yeah, so now you can see that this is able to turn. This is snug. Okay, and let's put this back on the vise. I'm going to put a little bit of that fresh oil right around here so that when I put it in there and I'm going to put some of that little o-ring in there too uh, just so that it uh, it goes down pretty smooth actually I'm going to put it right around this guy there we go and then Something around this guy like this. And, th and it's okay by doing this. It's not gonna make a leak or anything, because that's what's that's what this is gonna be encased in anyway. Okay. So then very carefully work it back in there. There we go. And it I can hear it sealing so really good because it's just it's pushing air down coming out of this little hole I guess you can hear that yep so now this you'll be able to turn later when I put it back over there okay so now is when I'm gonna go ahead and 
and just put a, just a dab right there like this just to help seal that okay and then you gotta hold this while you tighten that down so oh, and then also on the inside of this guy as well put some right there okay there we go and then go ahead see now I'm right on the threads and you just keep threading this on there until this until this nut bottoms out against that so actually I'm gonna have to put something in here to hold this while I thread that um, so let me pause the video real quick and then go find something okay guys so like I was saying you gotta hold this reservoir body here and get your big ass wrench uh, because this nut is pretty wide and then just start tightening it down it's okay if this guy turns the same time this is turning because later on it's still gonna be able to turn on itself because it's not threaded or anything like that but so basically this is what you gotta do like I said making sure you're holding the the fill hole lined up with that keep going until this bottoms out and after that you don't have to like you know superman that down but uh until you don't see a gap here anymore okay and that'll be it for uh, part one okay uh, in part two i'm going to show you how i stop putting it together completely there so I just want to hold it and just snug it up real good right there there's no gap like I said doesn't have to be on there super tight okay all right guys I'll catch you in part two as always uh, thanks for watching the videos uh, please rate comment subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so and also hit the bell button for up more up and coming videos. Alright, thanks guys. Later.